Good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bible in a Year. And this uh, is day 48, Numbers chapter 14 and 15. Um, if you read the previous day, you would have read Numbers 13, which, of course, um, the Lord gives instructions to Moses to send out the um, spies to check out the land of Canaan. And again, some people kind of misunderstand this. They kind of get the idea that... Uh, they were supposed to make that decision by sending out the spies, but the Bible doesn't teach that. The Bible teaches that no, God just sent them. God told them to send them out, and uh, the reality is, God had commanded them to cross that Jordan River and to go into the land of promise. I think that God just sent them out of there to go check out the land because I believe He wanted them to see uh, the blessings. Of course, as we see in the chapter. Uh, when they came back and what they returned, the fruit of the land in verses 26 to 33. But they also saw some obstacles. You know, life has that. It's it's blessings and obstacles, blessings and obstacles. And um, we need to realize today that that is life. That is life. And what they were supposed to do was trust God. They were, thank God for the blessings, but don't allow the obstacles to stop us in life. And unfortunately, in chapter 14, we see that because of chapter 13, when they returned, they decided to believe the majority report of the 10 spies who said, we can't go in, we can't go in, we're not going to do it, we're not going to do it. And only Joshua and Caleb were the ones who went, who said, let's go in, let's go in. It's interesting when you Remember, as I, met, I've, I mentioned quite often in my preaching and teaching, there was a preacher some years ago. He said, uh, can you name the two spies that said, let's go into the land of promise? And of course, most Christians can name Joshua and Caleb. Then he said, I'll give you a dollar for every name you can give me for those who said, let's not go in. I have, I, I don't know. Do you know? I don't believe most people would ever even know one of those names. You know, those people are forgotten. The ones that are remembered are the ones that serve God and live for God. Sadly, of course, in chapter 14, God passes judgment upon his people because they refuse to obey God and go in. And, uh, and of course, God promises that um, Joshua and Caleb because they wholly, they followed God wholly, that they would go in. So everyone who was 20 years up and upward would end up dying because of God's people's refusal to go into the land of promise. You know what it boils down to? Unbelief, unbelief. We have unbelief today as the church. We don't trust God. How do I know that? The Bible says that... Uh, Walking by faith is just obeying the word of God and just trusting God. That's all it is. Just obey God's word and, and do it. Do it. Do it. And uh, so, so Numbers chapter 14, there's kind of a pivotal point. And of course, God's people uh, will end up wandering in the wilderness for 40 years there. And uh, so anyway, just a few thoughts again on Numbers chapter 14. 13, 14 and 15. So till another time, another episode of Bible in the Year. God bless you.